Here's a pro tip guys. Don't run your forklift out of diesel gas. I think that's what happened anyway the last time we were using it. Luckily it died right after we lifted a big 40 foot enclosure to load on a trailer for a customer and it was raining and we shoved this thing out of the way with the with the heister forklift and now it's 27 degrees and I need it. So hopefully bleeding doesn't go too poorly. Get it running, get it down to the fuel tank, hopefully five gallons will make that happen. fuel surprisingly mighty old 3208 and this girl the old knips coming to the rescue here I'm gonna crack these injection lines see if I can pump them up with fuel Things are going far from ideal. My phone died, I had to resort to a GoPro, which doesn't love the dark. Got a torpedo heater run out of the shop. We're of course out of ether. I ran to Dollar General in the creeper van and they're out of ether. So we got WD and degreaser. Hopefully something's flammable and we can get this girl rolling. Let's see what happens. Give her the sauce, probably can't see a thing. There's some degreaser. There's some WD. Turn on old jumpy packy. Come on, girl. Oh, she's trying. Woo! Come on. Oh, there we go. It was probably the torpedo heater. We'll still take it as a win. Chain down, ready for battle. That's it guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I think it's all gonna be part of this video, so. 
Have a good one. Good morning, guys. We're back at it here the next morning. Nice, crisp 22 degree cold start coming at you. Let's see what the old cat can do. Hopefully, she's got enough juice and she should let her go. I wouldn't have taken the key out. Alrighty.
unfortunately the guys here loading out for the auction don't seem to care at all what you do so gave them our insurance certificate and our check and we're good to go start tearing stuff up all righty we're officially on location hopefully we can lift this thing without issue i'm looking how we can chain her down we had a little clevis those holes would be good but i don't have those i think we could just hook a hook a hook of a chain or a binder right over that and pull down and it'll be all right well, somebody was in here after us guess there is no air conditioner ben i was making things up just fans a valid question to ask is will the building fit in the well <laughs> we might be leaving the low boy here and going back for the black trailer saw a white building but it, it sat on there pretty well just enough for him to get the forks out but we can always pick it up and scooch it a little yeah I pulled it out a couple inches it'll be all right so I'm gonna go ahead and chain it down
plastic up and secured the other doors. I think she's good to go. Might try to jam a couple of the small items inside that enclosure. But I guess I'm gonna go ahead and drive the forklift way back over yonder where we're gonna be loading the sea cans. In case we have any issues, we know what to bring. Got the building back to the shop. I just unhooked the low boy. I'll unload it later. Kind of on a race against the clock out of the auction. I gotta run home, grab the black trailer, go back out and start grabbing the sea cans. Jack handle's not feeling so good. Oh, girl. Trying to be ginger. I forgot to order one of those. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get high gear. Let's get her picked up off the ground. The tire on the tractor is a little low. Let's fire the air compressor up. So we can put some air in it. And we'll be ready to turn. Well, the, the handle survived. Put the big ginger. Trailer aired up. Hopefully the brakes aren't frozen. It's starting to warm up here, but I don't know if it's warm enough to have thawed them. Let's see if we can get her pulled around. like this guy's frozen up his back fell back left front right stuck Let's see what we can do which on this is not easy to get at the problem is you can't hit the brake shoe itself because if you chunk that lining out that's a big issue so you gotta be careful not to do that this has got a vibrator free. It sucks. You can tell they're good now. If you get your finger on there, you can feel just a little bit of wiggle. There, you can see it. Wiggle that shoe a little bit and you're free. Round two.
you came to visit. Yogo! Hi, buddy! Oh, hi. Thank you. Thank you for kisses. Where's your big brother? Oh, dude. What are you doing, buddy? Whoopsies. We had a man down. He very precariously leaned on the side of the trailer because I just tipped it on there to get it over to this can. So I can load these in here while it's still on the ground and go ahead and wrestle them in. taking a second to admire this Sani container handler did not realize how massive these things are I've driven past them from the highway well, yeah it uh, it's pretty serious I guess if they can pick a loaded sea can any difference they're gonna have to be I give you 45,000 pound or 45,000 kilograms sorry wow wonder what what radius that is at. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, well, yeah, look, 15 tons can be 6,300 millimeter away from you. That's pretty impressive. So since I'm doing this all by myself, I'm thinking the easier way to line it all up is just hold it there and back the truck under because then I can see everything through the mirrors. pretty well. This is a little narrow of the trailer because it's a 102 wide trailer and the cam's 96. Hanging off the back just to fuzz. This is our other can, which is kind of trapped in here. This one was behind it. So I picked it up and shoved it over. Can't get to the other side either, so I'm just gonna pick it up, hook a chain to it, and drag it backwards.
So I bought this stack of three by three square tubing. I'm trying to figure out how to get it home. So I'm thinking, as you can see, there's 300 things in front of it. I'm thinking I can use this block at the back of the forks and put a chain underneath there, like basket it. That way I can shove it in that one sea can that was dug out. But what I could, the math I did on this three by three quarter wall, I think it's 8.8 .8 pounds a foot worked out to like 7,000 pounds here which can not leave it out like this is gonna be a lot but you figure 7,000 pounds picking levels here so this 30,000 pound lift shouldn't have any issue with it but the chains in the crib block might it'd be better if I could slide the forks together but that's a real pain and I'm gonna need them wide again for the cans so I'm hoping I can just make it happen happening This is all 3 8 and half inch stainless tubing. We use this when we build boiler feed skids and things like that. So it was $4,000, but there's a whole lot of feet of it here, so it's definitely worth it. Made in US even. I wonder what brand it is. I guess I haven't seen in this fella. I don't know what's in him. That shouldn't be super heavy. We'll load it in the can the same way. I'm gonna grab these blocks here. Well, those guys are nice enough to leave the gate unlocked. They're just gonna dummy lock it, they said. So, we're gonna make this turn. Come back for our other sea can. Maybe come back for the forklift, or maybe that'll be a tomorrow mission, I don't know. Get to it.
All right, we'll see what the mighty heister's got. This is only a 22,000 pound lift, but it does have eight foot forks, unlike the cat, which is a 30,000 pound lift with six foot forks. So hopefully, I don't think we'll have an issue with this can. I think the other one might be heavier with all that steel tubing in it. Let's give her a whirl. get some cribbins under her. All right, I've checked some crib blocks underneath her. See what happens. Oh, oh man. Apparently the cat is that much stronger. <sighs> Crap. Can we set something heavy on the back? steel is pushing our limits. The old 30 is teetering. <laughs> Something's leaking a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and yank that block out of there. Back right under her quick. She's on and tied down. Let's roll with it. We're all hooked back up to the low boy. Ready to go grab the forklift. This will be the fourth round of the day. I'm tired. Coming in on our last trip, pick up the forklift. Load it up and head it out. That's a wrap, guys. The marathon of the day. I'm ready for a nap. Thanks for watching.